So my name is Aditya Gupta, and I'm from India, and an aspiring marketer. And currently, I'm pursuing a master's in marketing intelligence at Fordham. So this is my first time in the US. Uh, I was back in India for my whole life before this. I have a bachelor's in electrical engineering. After that, I have worked for two different market research companies for the last three years, and that's when I explored my interest in the field of marketing. Then transitioning from electrical engineering, it was a little challenging for me. But when I started working in market research, that's when I explored the field. Like, what options do I have in the future, and what can I do to make my career <clears throat> move forward? And that's when I realized I talked to a few experts and counselors and everyone to get to know more about the field. And that's when I decided to get this a little further. And pursue your masters. Before anyone gets into any school, they learn about learn about it. They talk to some of their some of their alumni. So I got in contact with with some of the experts, and I had a counselor also back home. I talked to a few people and uh, saw what Fordham offered and the curriculum also. The best thing about the curriculum was. was it had both the data driven side and the core side of the marketing like media and stuff and the fact that it is located in manhattan played a big role in me deciding to go to fordham uh you would always think like you'll get more and more opportunities in new york since and I mean it's hub for marketing you get more and more opportunities than anywhere else and the fact that it located in the center of manhattan like midtown play a big role like all the <clears throat> big companies the big shot companies and like it's very commercialized you will get a lot of exposure being in this kind of location and it played a big role in me choosing for like being in new york is a dream itself since it's a one year program they have to design it in a way that you get to learn everything quickly so they have uh, they have offered us courses such as data driven marketing marketing analytics marketing analytic insights like these are on the side of the data driven these are the courses which builds your technical side your technical traits and then there are courses like customer loyalty programs and strategic branding and we had consumer behavior customer driven marketing these are the courses which will take you into media and advertising and the consumer side of the of the field consumer side of the marketing so it had both like when you will complete your master you will have choices to go into a particular field and not just the data side just the consumer side thing which was very lucrative at the time i saw the curriculum during the last year of my bachelor's that was in electrical engineering by the way i decided to pursue an online course from edx uh, in marketing analytics from columbia and it was extensive but I did the course very well, and that's where I realized my potential in marketing. I found the field very fascinating, and I always wanted to do an MBA. Uh, so back when my placement started, the job hunt and everything, I absolutely removed the electrical engineering jobs and the field entirely. I was like, "This is it for me. I'm going to do something new." I got into market research. and i started working and i i was given a lot of uh, very interesting markets like you know, vegan cheese and natural food colors plant based foods and i absolutely enjoyed working on them <clears throat> i got to learn a lot of research methodology so many things i learned in those 3 years and in those 3 years i talked to a few experts my 
acquaintances and everyone <clears throat> to get more idea about the field and i looked at uh, some courses what what options do i have after this and finally realized that this is the time for me to pursue a masters in marketing i think professionally i would say <clears throat> i have <clears throat> the biggest thing i've learned in the last few months is how to manage your time i mean there are a lot of things you have to juggle once but the one thing that i've learned like everyone will say before you come here that you won't get enough time you'll have a lot of work to do <clears throat> the only thing that i have realized is that if you manage your time efficiently and if you do your work do your work on time if you finish your assignment your project your maybe assistantship work on time you'll still have a lot of time for yourself do anything you want maybe academically or professional or personally or any extra curricular that you want to do so i think that is one of the biggest thing <clears throat> i have learned here and it has made me more sophisticated it has made me more open to people i was kind of an introvert i still am i think but from this experience i'm able to talk to a lot of new people to to be able to participate in the class without hesitating and ask the right questions so that is that is really i think that that was challenging for me but i think i overcame it and learned a lot from this experience actually the problem with the visa was the uh, the timing we all know we are in a covid era so there were a lot of students on to go and very few appointments like very few had to stay up all day be vigilant the website like when is new appointment going to open but uh, as far as i know the situation is very much under control now and the visa offices are open that was a little stressful at the time like my course is about to start Will I get an appointment or not? But thankfully, I did. But I don't think the the prospective students will have to suffer from this. This was a little challenging. Other than that, the visa process is very smooth. The interviews and everything. Being an international student is obviously a little difficult in initially. But you meet a lot of people from different diversities. See a lot of people from different. nationalities you talk to them in in it's not like you're alone and even the locals even the native americans it's very good to connect to them they're very friendly everyone is very friendly here everyone is a, everyone wants to help you everyone is always ready to help you there is never a problem but uh, and my plans for next few years is i'm going to be here and I want to work for a reputable company in the meanwhile i have a 5 years visa from the day my course started and i look very much to exhaust it to be here for like 5 years at least let's see what wherever it takes me post the completion of my masters i would definitely looking for a job i have already started actually and cuz the time is near I would want to work in branding and I have shortlisted a few companies which I'm very willing to work for um like working for a sports firm has always been on my professional bucket list so I have like bifurcated these two companies uh, like ESPN and Optal I'll be looking for roles in these companies but mostly I'm looking for jobs in branding and analytics I uh, This is what I've realized about myself during this time. Like, I think I like analytics, and I'm pretty good at it. And there are a lot of roles in analytics, and the field is ever growing. You cannot do anything without data. There's a lot of data. There are a lot of databases. Like, you have more prospects in analytics. This is what I feel. So I want to do either branding or analytics. So I'll be looking for jobs in both, and figure out what I get.
फिगर आउट आफ्टर वर्ड आई गेट uh the first thing i would say is carefully examine everything like what do you want to pursue are you sure about it does your interest align with the curriculum of that particular university you are applying to or that particular university you got admitted into carefully examine everything and <clears throat> don't be disappointed if you get a few rejections also it's basic i mean if you apply to five or six universities it it's not certain but it's a risk that you have to take like you could get re- rejected from a few of them don't get disappointed if you don't get into a dream to your dream college but <clears throat> build your sopis and lors the way like you're showing your story like your storytelling and i would also say uh learn to manage your time before coming here it'll be a plus on your side and try to talk to more people try to connect with more people with the university you're going to It'll play to your advantage You'll learn a lot about the universities from them before coming here and it will help you make an informative decision just hang in there